Hello, my name is Khaniki Ravshan, and I am the daughter of my mother, Salkana Elimbaeva, and my father, Ravshan Jainbek. The last few years have been really hard for our family due to the political situation that we have faced in our country. Right now, we have faced political oppression by the authorities of the Kyrgyz Republic. My father has been in and out of prison since 2019. Currently, he is in custody due to the Kempirabad investigations. My older siblings and I had to leave the country due to the constant pressure that the authorities have been causing on us. And now, the president, Satir Japarov, and the head of Gakanba, Khamchebek Toshiv, have decided to torture my father by using his family. My mother, on the 25th of May, 2023, was forcibly taken into custody for interrogations at 12 p.m. and was held there for the whole day, and we had no contact. Nor was she allowed to have a lawyer, nor was she allowed to call my little sister, who is right now in Kyrgyzstan. The next morning on the 26th of May, when I woke up, I saw that my mother was detained for two months. She was accused with bribery and corruption. My mother has nothing to do with politics. The only thing she has ever done was support her husband as any wife would and take care and raise her children as any mother would. Right now, she is in prison and I'm really worried about my mother's health because the conditions in Kyrgyzstan, the conditions in prison in Kyrgyzstan are awful. The reason that the government decided to manipulate and torture my father is because even though he is in prison, he has decided to run for the political elections in Kyrgyzstan. During the arrest of my mother, the authorities decided to ignore that my mother has a 13-year-old daughter who has not reached the legal age and have decided to leave my little sister without her father and mother. And I would like to reach out to the human rights organizations, to the international embassies, and to the human rights advocates to pay attention to my mother's case, to my father's case, and to the situation that is happening in Kyrgyzstan right now. Thank you.